Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan and to this video, I'm gonna show you on how to use this function. This function, guys, is usually used in navigation form, just like this one, guys. And it is used to move from one form to another form or from one page to another page. So to give you an idea, guys, let me show you my sample. So this one, this is my landing page or my welcome page. And sample, change password. What if I want to change this? validate so old password is incorrect and then i realize to cancel it not to continue so when i click this cancel it will open to another form one of this form so like for example click this one cancel okay it opens to my landing page so that's the use of those function guys so if you are still interested please watch the video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribe let us start guys so go to the design view and uh, by the way my landing page is this one sample so that's the name of my form so Let's start the coding, click this cancel, and then click these three dots, and here we go. So below, let us encode the one line code only. So do cmd dot browse to, okay, that one, and then space. So we have two options here, form or report. So but we will use this one form, this because this is what we need, okay, and then comma to proceed. So, object name, asking for the name of the form to be open. So, this one, since this is uh, the form that we need. So, double quote, and then let's type sample. And then, to proceed, comma again. So, path to subform control. So, this is the name of the form, guys, this one. So, navigation form. So, let's type navigation form so don't forget to put this one guys this is an extension that navigation subform okay and that's it so save and close so form view so let us go back try this when we click cancel, here we go. It opens to the landing page. So what if we want to open this one, guys? The asset transfer or the employee accountability or employee. So we can do that also, yes. So let's, for example, this one, asset transfer. By the way, the name of this um, form is this one. The copy of asset transfer. Okay. This is it. So... Remember this name, copy of asset transfer. So let's go back. Design view. Click this, cancel. Three dots. So let us replace this to copy of asset transfer. Please make sure the spelling is correct. Okay. And save. Close. And form view. So, go to change password. If we click this, so this asset transfer will be open. One, two, three. Here we go, guys. So, it's pretty easy. So, I know, guys, it's also easy for you. And I think this is enough for this video. If you like this video, please click like. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. So, that's all, guys. Thank you. And see you to my next video.